I have uh, like one more story that I wanted to to harp on, and that is something I lo I know little to nothing about. So I want to talk about this Nord Stream sabotage, these Nord Stream blasts. Okay, and I'm hoping that by uh, exposing my o own ignorance, um, I can uh, learn something, a thing or two about this. So the Nord Stream gas pipeline had suffered a mysterious leak. Now, the root cause of this leak, I have no idea. Um, there are many things that could have happened that have led to this point in time. Um, and we still don't know the root cause of this leak, whether if it was an, an intentional sabotage um, from one party or another. Um, you have to think that if there is some level of sabotage, there is a pretty good chance internationally that the CIA had a hand in it. Um, and let's be honest, it's not like it's not like the United States government is incapable of doing such things. Now, what's the most odd about this is one of the things that have come out of it, and I don't know if it's actually stated in this article, I just kind of pulled this article out at random, uh, is that the there have been some who have suggested that the Russian military is the Russians are responsible for sabotaging their own pipeline. And here's why I tell you that shit don't make sense because if one of the main ways that Russia is able to even fund its war in Ukraine is by Nord Stream gas money, why the fuck would you sabotage it? That makes no sense. Zero. And it's not just one pipeline, it's two, as Lord Master points out to me. It, the shit does not make sense, okay? Why would Russia sabotage their own pipelines? It does not make sense. The New York, uh, New York Times says the pipeline break looks deliberate, Europeans say, exposing vulnerability. Uh, you think? Of course it's deliberate. But the idea that the Russians are somehow responsible for their own natural gas pipeline leaks is kind of defies logic. Now, that's not to say that Russia did sabotage their own pipelines. They certainly could have. I'm just saying that the likelihood of that, given what we've seen, seems quite small. So whether it's accidental or not, I think we can all tell that that shit wasn't accidental. But... Someone wants this war to end, and someone wants it to end as soon as possible. And I am, look, I'm not naming names here, but um, usually it's the three leather agencies that have pull, pull the strings around the world, okay? Uh, Loremaster has a question saying, question is, does Ukraine itself have the capacity to do this? I don't know if Ukraine has the possibility to do this, but given how the entire world has backed Ukraine without actually getting itself involved, getting, you know, their, themselves involved officially in the war against Russia, uh, against the Russian, or pushing back the Russian invasion. I would not be surprised if people took it upon themselves uh, who did have the capacity to do it to just go ahead and do it. Um, that certainly makes more sense. Now... <laughs> Javi says, do you mean EPA? <laughs> if only it was. <laughs> Watch it be fucking Greenpeace that did this shit. Greenpeace sabotages the Nord Stream pipelines. 
I can see it happen now. Greenpeace behind Greenpeace is basically partner with ISIS and Al Qaeda to to shut off the the gas spigots that are funding the the Ukrainian invasion or the Russian invasion of Ukraine. <laughs>